Hey everyone, this is J Dog, and I'm here with another video. This piece of crap, this 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 bitch right here, this piece of crap right here, goes by the name of Lisa Maria Falcone. So she's a wife of a billionaire, and she used the N word because she's friends with Alicia Keys. First of all, I don't remember Alicia Keys ever using the N-word in her songs. And Alicia Keys needs to call her out. Otherwise, I'm going to have to question Alicia Keys as well. But, she's the wife of billionaire hedge funder who claims she's not racist, but she used the N-word. Because she knows Alicia uh, Keys. Lisa Falcone is the wife of belligerent hedge funder, um, Phil, Phil, um, Phil Falcone told her former personal chef she wasn't racist after using the N word. Uh, yes, she is. And said she could ask her black friend. See, there we go again, that black friend. See, when, whenever they say, I have black friends and stuff like that, when you see non-black people going around saying, I'm not racist, I have black friends, this is my black friend right here. That means they've done something racist. Or they are racist. Black friend Alicia claims to confirm according to new court papers. Does she really know Alicia Keys? If she does, Alicia Keys is going to have to speak out about this. And Alicia Keys needs to start reminding black, uh, non-black people that you can't use the N-word. It is a negative word that was used since chattel slavery. Falcone allegedly dropped... Hold on a second. Right, here we go. Falcone allegedly dropped the N-bomb after meeting... Cook Brian Villanuevo, uh, forgive me, his girlfriend, forgive me if I pronounced that wrong, who is black, according to a wage dispute lawsuit filed in Manhattan Federal Court Wednesday against the socialite and her um, Hellbinger Harbinger Capital hubby. Vanilla Villa said his girl pal came in to help him cook for the uh, for a Hamptons dinner party the Falcons were hosting on July of 13, 2019, that was just this summer, attended by Keys and her husband, Swit Speets. And the next morning, Lisa comments how accurate, um, how accurately, actually hit, um, his partner was your girlfriend speaks very well she seems educated see there we go again with the um they use this term when they see a black person educated that means they usually expect black people to be stupid articulate um uh, that's what i meant to say for, forgive me for pronouncing that wrong earlier in the sentence um uh I don't know what I'm thinking. Oh, but we're back to this article. Um, you see, when when white people see educated black people, they think uh, they usually expect them for, of us being stupid. All right, that's what the, that's the, a lot of races have the mindset of. It's um, I would describe her as a chocolate covered marshmallow. The chef claims. Uh, Lisa said, it's okay, that's racist right there. Because of the skin. She's comparing the skin. S despite Villanueva appearing visibly offended, she went on to ask, do you use the N-word at home with your girlfriend, said the court papers. Defendant Lisa Falcone noticed the shock and offended expression on plant on the plaintiff's face. However, rather than apologizing, she said defensively, I'm Puerto Rican and I grew up in Spanish Harlem, so I can speak like that. The suit reads. Yeah, except 
are you a um you have Hispanics who are known to be racist towards black people there's black Puerto Ricans there's white looking Puerto Ricans this is a white looking if she if this is the person who said who's Puerto Rican that means she's a white Puerto Rican I don't see no black in her There are Puerto Ricans who do not, I'm not saying all of them, but there are Puerto Ricans who do not accept their blackness. Even black, some black Puerto Ricans, they just say they're Latino. Some, not all. You know, I'm not even going to read the uh, the rest of the video. Me article. You know what? Yes, I am. All right. The lawsuit said Villanova asked his boss to explain the comment, and she responded that neither Keys nor her husband, whose real name is Kazim Dean, were as well spoken. I meant she speaks a uh, real equivalent. Lee, uh, forgive me, I pronounced that wrong. Alicia Keys doesn't speak that way. She didn't have an education and was just discovered by Clive Davis when she was 15 years old. Swiss B definitely doesn't speak that way either. Alicia, uh, Lisa allegedly told him, that doesn't mean you have the right to use the N-word. All right, just because a black person doesn't speak intelligent. I'm not saying that Alicia Keys or Swiss Beat don't speak intelligent. But even if a black person does not speak, speaks hood, speaks slang, that doesn't mean you, a non-black person, have the right to use the, the, the freaking N-word. Later that day, Bill Noah claimed, um, he delivered pizza to the Falcons on the beach and told them he was quitting due to the racist remarks. Rather than accepting plaintiff's retro, um, um, resignation, defended Lisa Falcone as plaintiff not to resign and stated, talk to my black friends. Oh, there we go again with that freaking black friend term. That's a way to try to uh, uh, um, cover their tracks. Seemingly referring to Alicia Keys and Swiss Beast. Like, I, I need both of them to call, um, um, speak out on this. Otherwise, I have to question Alicia Keys and Swiss Beats. I'm, I'm gonna have to. Both whom were at the beach with the Falcons at the time and em um, emphasized they will tell you that I'm not racist. Uh, yes, you are, Lisa. Yes, you are. The documents read, he's suing for discrimination and violation of New York labor laws, saying he owes 4000 I think he's talking about the husband uh, of Lisa, uh, $4,230.76 in unpaid wages. The lawsuit also claims Phil said he would only pay Venezuela. Neva, if he and his girlfriend signed a confidentiality uh, um, um, agreement promising to not repeat Lisa um, utterance, they declined to sign. And like I said, um, reps for both Keys and Beats um, did not respond to requests for comment. Phil's declined to comment. Lisa did not return messages. Like I said, Alicia Keys and Swiss Beats need to call them out, call the, uh, the Falcons out, or it needs to speak about this. Otherwise, people are going to start calling, accusing Alicia Keys and Beats for being coons. Like, uh, they kind of are by not speaking out about this. And I hope whoever uh, was the victim of this racist issue gets paid.
this woman is just disgusting. This woman is disgusting. All right, she's going around using the N word just because she knows Lisa. Like I said, I've never seen Alicia Keys talk all hoodish like and uh, putting the N word in her music. So she definitely has no excuse. And like I said, Alicia Keys either needs to distance self from her, from the Falcons, from Lisa Marie Falcon, or people are gonna start questioning Alicia Keys. And right now, Alicia Keys' career is not doing. Uh, I haven't really seen anything new from Alicia Keys um, since, but um, recently. There hasn't really been anything new coming from Alicia Keys, but this is going to, uh, quite, people are going to start asking questions about, uh, who Alicia Keys hangs out with if, uh, her and Swiss Beats don't, uh, speak on this. I will share the link to this article in the description box and comment section. I want to know what y'all think in the description box and comment section about this ordeal yeah uh yeah just write down in the comment section what you think about this like and share the video share the article subscribe if you haven't subscribed and hit that notification bell if you're not getting notifications check every once in a while to see if um i come up with a new video also unsubscribe then resubscribe re hit that notification bell that should reset you to getting notifications also i'll leave links to different accounts, um, whether it be from YouTube, Black Junction, Black Share, so you can follow me there on those accounts as well. Um, but that's all I have to say for now. This is J Dog. Thank you for watching, and I hope to catch y'all in a new, in another video. Peace, everyone.